Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this about a section to your blogger website. Now I have shown you how to design this uh, from scratch in the previous video using HTML and CSS. I will leave the link of the design video in the description of this video. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I have logged into my blogger dashboard and let's add this design to a page. So let's go over here to pages and let's click on new page. And here let's go ahead and set the title to about us. And the first thing you need to do is change this into HTML view. So by default it will be in the compose view. Click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add your HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So first of all let's go ahead and add the CSS. I will just create a style tag for that. And uh, let's go to our source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's copy from this line of code till the end. And uh, let's go ahead and copy and paste it to the style tag. Now let's paste the HTML. So let's go back to our source code. Let's go to the HTML file and let's copy this HTML starting from this start of the about container section till the end. And let's paste it over here. Now the next thing you need to do is change this image URL. So right now it is set to images forward slash the image name. So we need to first of all upload the image and paste the URL over here. So I'll just go ahead and click on upload image or insert image and let's click on upload from computer. And let's click on browse. And here we have the image. I'll just select it and let's click on open. And now here let's select original size and let's click on OK. And here we have the image being uploaded. Now let's copy the link of the image. So it is inside the href attribute. So let's copy it from the href attribute and let's paste it over here in the source. And now we can go ahead and delete this from here. We already have the link of the image. And then here we have all the content. You can change these content to whatever you want. So here we have the info section, we have the heading and all these things over here. You can change all of this to your needs. And once you're done all of that, you can just click on publish and confirm. And here we can see our page was published. Let's click on this uh, view button. And this is how our page looks right now. But we have some problems in our design. So if you go to the original design, we can see that it had this uh, larger width for this content. So what we need to do is we need to make some changes in our design. We need to change the font size of this heading and uh, we can also remove the padding and the gap between these uh, two elements. We can also change the width of the image. So let's go ahead and do all of that. Let's go back to pages and let's go to about us. And uh, the first thing we will do is uh, we will change the font size of the heading. So here for H2, let's change the font size to 40 and update. Let's go back and reload. And this is how it looks right now. Now let's change the font size of all this paragraph to 16. Right now it is set to 18 pixels. So let's change this to 16. And let's also remove the margin top of this paragraph. So this paragraph is p tag with a class of description. So let's go ahead and target that. Here I'll just type about container description. And let's tap margin top. Let's try zero and let's see how it looks. Let's click on update. Let's go back and reload. And I think we can increase it a little bit. So let's go to inspect and uh, I think 18 pixels looks all right. So let's change uh, margin top to 18 pixels. And the next thing we need to do is change the color of this S3 heading. So right now it is set to this default color by the theme. So let's go back and let's go to the S3. So here we have the S3. Let's set the color to the color of the other design elements. So if we scroll up here, we can see that we have set the color of all the text to this dark color. So let's copy this and let's paste it over here and update. Let's go back. And now we can see we have the correct color for these headings. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to change the width of this image. So let's right click and go to inspect. And uh, here we can see that the width of the image is set to 400 pixels. 
but it is not being applied. So if you scroll down here, we can see that we have some styles applied by the theme itself. So here the max width is set to 400 pixels for all the images inside post body. So here let's go ahead and set a max width. So let's try 300 pixels and this is how it looks. So let's set the max width of the image to 300 pixels. Let's go back and uh, let's go to the image. So here for the image, let's set a max width of 300 pixels and let's update this. Let's go back and reload. Now let's remove the padding of the container division. So let's right click and go to inspect. And here for the about container, we have some padding. So we have a padding of 30 pixels. Let's remove that. And we also have a gap of 60 pixels. We can remove that and let's try 30 pixels. So let's make these changes to the about container. So here for about container, let's change the gap to 30 pixels and let's set the padding to zero and update. Let's go back and reload. Now let's remove the padding of these icons. So we have some more space. So let's go back and uh, for the icon, let's set the padding to zero and update. And now I think the size of all the elements look all right. Now let's go back and go to our original design. And here we can see we have this element. So we have this uh, radial gradient background color. Now it is not being displayed over here in our design. Now that's because if you go back to our BG color division. Now this is the division responsible for this color effect. So we have set a Z index of minus one. Now if you set it to let's say one and if I update this and if you go back and reload. Now we can see that the element is being displayed but uh, it is displayed on top of all the other elements. So that's why we had added a Z index of minus one so that it goes behind the text. But here in our theme when we set a Z index of minus one it is going behind this container division as well of the page. So what we need to do is we need to isolate this uh, about as container. So let's go back and here for about container we need to type isolation isolate and uh, here we can go back and uh, go to the image which is BG color and we can set it back to negative one and let's update this. Now let's go back and reload. Now we can see everything looks all right and we have the color effect being displayed. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the smaller screens. So let's decrease the width of the browser window. And this is how it will look on smaller screens. So we need to increase the width of this image because we had set a max width in the desktop versions. So let's go back to our page. And here in media max width of 970 pixels for the image, let's type max width and let's set it to 100%. And let's update this. Let's go back to our page and reload. And now we can see everything looks all right. So it is looking all right on smaller screens as well. And uh, it is looking all right on larger screens as well. So that's basically how you can add this custom about us design to your blogger website. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.